Megan's biggest lies exposed. Tussock sweat her pants as Samantha brings her heinous crime to light. Megan, Duchess of Sussex is insisting she never lied to Oprah Winfrey during her bombshell TV interview after her half-sister Samantha Markle sued her. During her sit-down interview with Oprah in 2020, Meghan discussed her childhood and said that she grew up as an only child, though she has two half-siblings. Now Samantha is seeking more than $100,000 in damages, claiming that those comments as well as a divisive royal biography subjected her to shame and hate. According to the 57-year-old, who is Thomas Markle's eldest daughter, Meghan's comments to Oprah about growing up as an only child are outright lies. Taking the royal to court for defamation, Samantha has alleged that the false and malicious lies about Meghan's rags-to-royalty story subjected her to humiliation, shame and hatred on a worldwide scale. But the Duchess of Sussex's legal team have hit back at the allegations, saying that Meghan's comments were a statement of opinion, not fact. In paperwork filed by the royal's lawyers, they refute Samantha's assertions that she can disprove that Meghan grew up as an only child. But this perception is inherently unfalsifiable. It is hard to imagine a more personal and subjective feeling than how one views their own childhood, the documents read. Moreover, plaintiffs, Samantha's, opposition completely ignores the context of the statement, where Ms. Winfrey asked Meghan about her relationship with plaintiff, to whom Ms. Winfrey referred as her half-sister on her father's side. Meghan's response to that question that she grew up as an only child was obviously not meant to be a statement of objective fact that she had no genetic siblings or half-siblings. Instead, Meghan's lawyers called the comment a textbook example of a subjective statement about how a person feels about her childhood. They also slammed Samantha's attempts to sue Meghan over the royal biography Finding Freedom, which documents her and Prince Harry's 2020 royal exit. Lawyers argue that the Duchess cannot be sued for a book she didn't write. Meghan did not make the statements, she cannot be liable for them, they said. It is that simple. Samantha appears to have been relying on rumors that the couple had provided statements to the book's authors, Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have always denied these claims. This is far from the first time Samantha has spoken out against her sister or accused her of lying about her family and childhood. Recently, Tom Bower's earth-shattering new book Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors claims to offer a behind-the-scenes insight into Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship with other members of the royal family. The author reportedly spoke to 80 people who personally know the couple to reveal what really happened at some of the most talked about royal events of recent times. One appearance that will be remembered thanks to visible family tensions and icy greetings was the annual Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in 2020. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the event as it marked their final engagement as senior royals along with the likes of the Queen, the Prince of Wales and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Bauer's explosive book addresses the service and explains how a monumental argument took place after palace officials decided to publicly humiliate Harry and Meghan. Bauer wrote, Reality hit two days later, on 9th March. A monumental argument blew up after Harry was told that he and Meghan could not join the family's procession through Westminster Abbey for the annual Commonwealth Day service. Although the order of service listed Harry and Meghan walking behind the Queen, Palace officials had revised their decision. Suspicious about the Sussexes they decided to publicly humiliate them. Harry was told that having stepped down from royal duties, he and Meghan would sit and wait with the congregation. The prospect of the televised image of their isolation in the Abbey appalled them. By then they were keenly aware of Kate and William's antagonism. William had not offered a brotherly welcome and Kate was outright distant towards her sister-in-law. Eventually, to end the dispute, William and Kate agreed they too would wait with Harry and Meghan. As the members of the royal family filed into the abbey, the frayed relationships could not be concealed. Kate had blanked the Sussexes and William's greeting was cold. Harry looked strained. Meghan's face showed bemusement.